Hey guys, still here and welcome back to this Taskmaster Tuesday Ultimate Emerald Dreadnoughts. On Taskmaster Tuesday, I take on a challenge that is either posed by one of you or by one of the other YouTube channels who is taking part in this challenge, which is currently Every Day is Different and History Guy Gaming. Links to both of their channels down below in the description. They will have published a video probably at exactly the same time as this one went live, so you can see how these guys are going to do themselves. Now, the challenge for this week. Put as many barrels on your ship. There is an absolute minimum of 15 barrels and 60 secondary barrels at the minimum. Five points gained for every battleship sunk, two points gained for every battle cruiser sunk. If you lose one of your own battleships, you lose five points. We get three battleships, the enemy gets five and three battle cruisers. The starting range is 12,000, which should allow those secondaries to get into range real quick. And we have 45 minutes of in-game time available to complete this challenge. So let's get to designing a big ship. And uh, there is no displacement limit. So I can build a really big ship with lots and lots and lots of guns. We're going to drag this right up to 109,000 tons. That's the US Super Battleship. And um, do I really need that much speed though? Arguably, you could use it to get into range, but if those battleship, battle cruiser are developed with torpedo tubes, then maybe I don't want to get into range too much. And another problem is that with more speed, generally comes more of a turning circle. So let's set this to a mere 20 knots. That puts my turning circle at 959 meters, which is still pretty damn high. Now there's no tech limitations, so with a speed of 20 knots and the tech boosts, I'm at a turning circle of 685 meters, which is very respectable for a battleship. Alright, up the armor. Uh, we are going to be fighting at close range, so I'll need a lot of protection. I'm hoping that I don't get torpedoed, but you never know in this game. Anti-flood 3, Citadel. Now this is more against plunging fire. I'm going to short range, so let's go for turtle back. We're going to go for heavy shells. I want those to be electro-hydraulic turrets. And I'm going to do it without torpedoes today. Because I just want to use guns, and lots and lots and lots of them. Now, there is no particular point score that we agreed on, judging by the amount of barrels. So that's going to be uh, up to you guys, ask the viewers. We're going to be comparing the ships. Of course, I cannot do that right now, but once the videos are live and in the comment section, I'll see who gets the most barrels on these ships. Now let's go for a modern tower and a modern secondary tower. I might still shift these things around depending on placement and uh, where I ideally have these things. I think I'm going to put them slightly farther back. I could put this thing all the way here. But I'm not sure exactly how useful those turrets or this, this place is going to be. Although, although, what I could go for are centerline guns for the bow and side guns amidships. Now it's short range. So I don't need 18 inch guns. And more importantly, if I put on 18 inch guns, I'm going to run into trouble because I'll run either out of displacement or room or both. So it's not going to be 18 inch. Looking at the displacement, I'm thinking of going for 13 inch and just using volume of fire to try and get rid of the enemy. Now at 12,500 meter range, I start with 20.8 inches of penetration. And if I go for one, no, two powder was it? That goes up to 26 inches of penetration. So that should be plenty. Oh, sorry, that's a side mount. Main gun, 13 inch, one here, one here. Uh, doesn't quite want to fit. Yes, it does. It does want to fit. Excellent. Okay, let's see if I can put those side mounts on. Again, 13 inch. Although, put as many barrels on your ship, an absolute minimum of 15, so I'm already at 9. If I go for smaller turrets, just 9 inch guns, I could put more turrets down there. It's going to cost me in displacement, but that's really not a priority for me right now. Oh, <laughs> I've reached the maximum amount of sight mounts. Okay, in that case, we might have spread them out a bit more. 
just to make sure that they have a bit of turning radius. There, there, and there. For some reason, it still doesn't really want to copy them when you move them in mirror mode. So this is what we'll have to do. And then maybe I can put a tall barbette in there. That would be great if I could put a tall secondary barbette. Just to make sure I can fit more of those secondaries. Because now I have my main battery. Well, mostly. But what I do not yet have is 60 secondary barrels. So there's still quite a bit of work to be done. Oh, crap. I do need some room over here for a tall superimposed. Really? Oh, right, yes. No, that's to be placed on the sides. And I need a centerline 13-inch gun on there. I don't quite know how that's going to turn, but the ship does not appear to be complaining too much about it. These things can still turn? That seems impressive. Right. Can I put another one of those? Mm. Maybe. If I mount this thing slightly further towards the secondary tower. And I then put these things here. And that put that one too close to the 9 inch. There. Okay. Currently. Ship armament. Overview. Uh, no, yeah, where was it? Here. I have 15 13 inch barrels and 18 9 inch barrels. So that's already a lot of firepower. Now I still have room for two more centerline turrets, but I really wouldn't know where to put them. Because even if I can put them down here, they're not really going to be that effective. And I don't know if this gun is actually going to be able to turn much. Ideally, I would have a barbette. Just making sure that I can rotate the turret by just moving over them. But the game is very specific, specific about where you can put those. So that's a no-go. Let's move on to the secondaries. Um, I get both points for battle cruisers and light cruiser, or for uh, battle cruisers and battleships. 12,500 meter range is 7.8 inches of penetration with an 8 inch gun. I think that's actually pretty respectable. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite want to fit here. And I don't want them over there because they'll impede my main battery. I can put a couple of 6 inch there, but I think 7 inch, yeah, 7 inch is too big. That's what she said. Uh, let's put the others there. Now, I am curious to see if I can fit this thing in here. <laughs> no, not with that big turret right next to it. Some parts are badly placed. I think that is a bit of an understatement, my dear game. Can you put... Not too... What sort of guns are you supposed to put in here? I wonder. Because this is part of the main tower. See, I can put one barrels in here, but not there. This is the smallest gun that I can possibly fit. I can put them there, here, here, there, there. Nope. If I can move these slightly, ever so slightly, I might be able to make it fit. Come on. That's the best I can do. Nah, it's still too close. Can I put any sort of barbettes? For, for some reason, you cannot put the short barbette for the secondaries. That's unfortunate. Nor can I use these, because I have used all of my barbette slots. Although... Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. How far can I move that secondary tower forward? Really? This really is a sort of double or nothing move. Oh. Alright. Back to the drawing board. Uh, let's put this here then. I'm probably going to have a pretty dreadful time with trying to get this thing balanced. 
But that is not really the challenge here. The challenge is to fit as many gun barrels as possible, primary and secondary. So that is what I shall do. Now I can install those sight mounts again. And some guns have four field of fire, you don't say. If I move it slightly, it's going to help a little. Like here and here. And maybe now I can put a small second... There we go. That's good for another couple of secondaries. That's another three barrels right there. And I can put... No. I cannot put another 8-inch there. How about a 2-inch? I know that History Guy Gaming is exceptionally good at throwing down turrets everywhere. I have seen his meme ship build video and it's just a ridiculous amount of barrels. This is too close to that 9-inch over there. This... well, all of this is too close. Hold on, could I put a secondary barbette down here? No, not quite. If I move this... Can I then do it? Well, sort of. Hold on, would this work? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Why the hell not? Because the reason for putting this thing up here is that I can now use the whole deck down here to put more guns. Guns, guns, guns. Everywhere. <laughs> that has a remarkably small field of fire. <laughs> Look at these things. What about a 5 inch? Is that going to fit? No. I'm not surprised. Um, I need more deck space. Hold on here. Yes! I have deck space for guns. Good. Of course, none of these 2-inch guns are going to do anything whatsoever. Not against a battleship and not against a battlecruiser. But it's not really the point. The point is, make sure that you have the guns. Is there any chance for me to put another barbette up here? Uh, a standard barbette. Well, maybe. Good luck fitting that, though. I wonder if this is going to fit. <laughs> sort of. Unfortunately, <laughs> this turret is not going to go anywhere. Uh, what if I put in a 9-inch? Yeah, see, the 9-inch can still rotate. You know what this means, right? Deck space for guns. Yeah, let's put a turret over there. These are all hand-loaded, right? I mean, sure, these are supposed to be auto-loaders, but at least you're protected inside the barbette and the turret when you're loading these things. As opposed to all of these little things, which are just out there on the deck. Good luck loading those in the middle of a battle. Now, all of this space here, I think I can't use. It's on the modern tower, but whoops. All of this stuff up here is just useless. Okay. I don't think I can get the ship much more American than this, guns-wise. And the game is complaining that about half the placed guns have poor fields of fire. So be it. Okay, um, I'm going to say that this is going to be the eventual build. So, let's tally up my guns. Uh, I have 12 13-inch barrels plus 18-inch 9... Sorry, 18 9-inch barrels, another 3, another 3 8-inch barrels. Oh, sorry, um... So that is a total main armament of 12, 30, 33 guns. 33 barrels of main guns. So I definitely passed that. You need to have a minimum of 15 barrels. So that's one. And then we get three 8 inch guns. We get 30 6 inch guns. We get another 36 3 inch guns. 
we get um, another 30. No, what is it? Uh, here. Oh. Uh, I get another 42 3 inch guns. So that's another 126 barrels. Crap, my calculator's crapping out. 3 plus 30 plus 36 plus a 126 plus 22. That is 217 secondary barrels. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, I think I might need more bulkheads than this. I think I'm also going to put just a ton of secondary armor on here. Especially since secondary armor is really not that heavy. I'm at 22 inches of secondary armor. I think belt armor is going to be critical here, much more so than deck armor. So I can save some on that. Let's go on 3 inch of deck armor. And just up the amount of belt armor. Because so we're going to be brawling a lot. 16 inch of belt and 16 inch of belt extended. Uh, let's put 22 inches on the turrets. Since I seem to have a lot of them. Conning tower is going to be heavily protected. Can I go for 20 inch? So effectively 40. Let's see. Anything else I want? Barbette's topped out, anti-torpedo can be topped out, uh, anti-flood's topped out, citadel's topped out. Maybe a bit more speed, no, speed's too much to ask. Ship's a bit heavy. Might have to do something with the guns. Okay, 16.4 inches of belt armor. Uh, this is the main. Yeah. How about main armament, huh? No? Too soon for the dad jokes? Okay. Now at this point, I don't know what the plan is for the other guys, for Everyday is Different and for History Guy Gaming. So I'm really looking forward to see how they are going to be performing this challenge. That battleship does not look big. It's an Italian battleship, and it is 1940s tech. But this is... A bit of the problem that we're facing with these Taskmaster Tuesday challenges. You have the problem where you don't quite know what the AI is going to generate. So that's why I'm going to try and limit these challenges to as little RNG as possible. This looks like the battle cruiser. No torpedoes. Visible, that is. That's going to be your demise. And here we have the battle... Jesus, what did you get? They brought dreadnoughts, I think. Okay. Alright, my dear battleships. I would say prepare the broadside, but... I think that basically means fire everything already. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this thing. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> All these secondaries. Of course, the 2 inch are going to take a while to get into range at 5.7. Seems like we're already doing some damage to this battle cruiser. Uh, most of the guns are in range. The 9 inch gun is still targeting, I think. Maybe it cannot quite get the right angle. Look at these broadsides. It's just a wall of guns. Just a huge line of armament. Now for effectiveness, arguably, I could have put another 9 inch or 13 inch down there. If the game would have let me, but I think it's more important to have secondary guns. Because that was the challenge. Put as many secondary guns in here as possible. It looks like this battle cruiser has taken the wrong time to make a turn. But she's flooding pretty badly. And again, keep in mind that these just have so much firepower on the guns.
Now, it is entirely possible that every day is different, and History Guy Gaming have acquired different ships as opponents. And that's what I mean with, I'm trying to limit the RNG. It is tricky to try and balance this out. Because you don't quite know what the AI is going to build. You don't quite know whether they're going to go for these... These, what is it, 50, 60,000 ton dreadnoughts. Or whether they're going to run with uh, very, very heavy 130,000 ton battleships. It can go either way with these challenges. Looks like within the first four minutes I'll have sunk my four battlecruiser potentially faster. That is, I think, a battle cruiser, not a battleship. Now, the Arkansas has taken some damage. What is happening to you? You're taking hits from 15 inch guns. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. Those guns are actually pretty potent at this range. And the range currently to these ships is 7.5 kilometers, even though I set the spawn distance to 12. I think the game might have taken the spawn distance and selected either that ship or that one as a main target and spawned everything else around it. I'm hoping that Arkansas is going to be able to angle her armor a bit more by turning the ship to port and as such not taking as much damage. We're inflicting flooding all over the place. What? Oh, you got a flash fire there. That was fast. Well, it's not the first time that I've seen a battle cruiser pull these stunts. That was really fast, though. Looks like the other battle cruiser is also trying to make a turn. And also getting hammered for making that poor decision. So far, I've taken 1,000 points of damage, and I have dished out 7,200. Uh, most from the 13 inch and the 9 inch, and absolutely nothing from all of those 2 inch guns. But then again, the challenge said put as many secondary battles on there, or secondary guns on there. Not do damage using said secondary guns. If you have a good idea for a Taskmaster Tuesday challenge, then by all means put that down below in the comment section. If you have an idea for a larger battle, which I call a scenario, link that, or the link in the description is going to allow you to upload that and transmit it to my website. And from there, I'll get it in my mailbox where it's going to join the other 300 scenarios which are currently awaiting uh, <laughs> to be done. So, yes, I will receive your scenario there. Uh, it might take me a while to get around to it. These poor ships don't seem to be standing a chance against my battleships. What the hell? I think for next week's challenge, it would be interesting to have a limit on the build time. And I don't mean the design time, so the design, the time that you spend in the designer, but more the time that it takes a ship to get built. That might be an interesting limitation to work with, because it's not actually something that you usually consider, but it is something that can be a very interesting factor in these Taskmaster Tuesdays. And at the end of the video, I'll uh, show you what I mean with that. I mean... 34,000 ton dreadnoughts. A few bulkheads. They're pretty advanced. Generation 2 radar, sonar, rangefinder 4, auxiliary 4, shaft 3, anti flood 3, anti torpedo 5, 15 inch guns, 11.7 inch belt armor. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's not good enough. Anyway, at the end of the battle, I'll show you what I mean. For now, let's just follow the Ohio as she's going to go to war. Now, how big is the broadside on this ship? Because she's firing 15 barrels just from over here. And that's the main armament that I'm interested in. That's 15, that's 24 primary. And the other two can't fire. This one seems to make an effort to fire, to rotate, but I don't think it can actually fire at that angle. And then, of course, we have about half a second of the guns. Well, slightly less, considering I have that little box on my stern of secondaries. Secondary guns... 5.7... No, we're still not in range. And by the time that we actually approach this battleship, it's probably going to be... Could you stop having flash fires? It's going to be probably too late. 
Looks like the Arkansas is really taking a beating. Angling in is helping a bit. But this ship has received 955 actual hits out of the 2,000 rounds which are fired at her. She's taken 1,452 damage, which is pretty much the majority of what I've taken so far. Jeez, these tip. How are you all having flash fires? What sort of propellant are you using? High TNT? And you have Barbette 4 armor? If I get this thing done once, okay. I'd say it's lucky. If it happens twice, it's interesting. If it happens three times, it means somebody designed their battleships pretty poorly. But I can't say that about these ships. They have good barbette armor. They have decent crew armor. They have, uh, well, a few bulkheads. That's, of course, not helpful. That does mean that flash fires have a bit more chance. Because they're going to spread rapidly throughout the ship. They have reduced ammo. So there is not that much ammo to start a flash fire. And on top of that, they have high TNT, which is some of the most stable armament or stable propellant that you can have. This is the last ship. What the hell? Wow. We're not even 10 minutes into this battle. So this ship is taking fire from 45... How? Shit, now I'm too late because now I can no longer see the log. Right, so that was about 9.48 something? Or 9.49 something? Damn. Uh, yes, I want to play again. I want to go back to the constructor. Now, what I mean with the build time for next week's challenge is this thing up here. The build time in the ship overview. It's currently set to 60 months, which is 5 years. And um, if I take parts off, it's going to take probably less time. Let's see, still 60 months. Still 60 months? Really? What is causing all that? Is that the displacement, maybe? Yeah. Displacement's causing it to go down to 59 months, 54 months at worst. I imagine a challenge is going to be interesting where we work with the build time and where uh, you give us as the content creators for you the challenge to go with any ship class that you want but have any one specific target and uh, work with the build time. Which means that if I would select, let's say, battle cruiser, heavy cruiser, light cruiser, design ship, I could say, you know what, I have a total build time available of 40 months. And uh, building a super battleship like this is going to take me 36 months. Whereas if I put on all of this, uh, it's probably going to go up pretty quick. Still 36. 36. What would happen if I go for a modern battleship? 27 months. And a large cruiser, 22 months. A modern light cruiser, 13 months. So let's say trying to sink a ship of your choosing, and I mean your choosing as you, the viewer, who's going to create the next challenge, uh, with a, let's say, the most, the, the person who does it the fastest with the lowest amount of build time, I think that would be an interesting challenge. But I want you guys to refine it a little bit more. I'll talk it over with Everyday's Different and um, History Guy Gaming. Again, links to those guys down below in the comments or in the description. And anybody else who would like to join the challenge, Send me an email at stealth at stealth17gaming.com and I will uh, be in touch with you and add you into the conversation with the other guys so you can all join in on the challenge. But of course, only if you have a YouTube channel so we can reinforce each other and share content and just challenge each other in a fun way. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed that massive battleship that I built there with all of those guns. And I shall see you guys soon for another video.